I'll never forget that day. I was returning from Quidditch practice, flying over the forest near our manor, when I noticed something strange below. As I flew down, I saw you. You were lying unconscious, pale as a ghost, in torn clothes with traces of spells. I recognized you immediately. How could I not recognize someone I'd spent so much time with at Hogwarts? I remember how my hands were shaking when I lifted you from the ground. You were so cold. I apparated home immediately, thankful I'd already gotten my license. When Mum saw you, she rushed to help right away. For three days you didn't regain consciousness. Three bloody long days. My parents and I took turns watching over your bed, and when we learned about the attack on your home, Merlin, I was ready to tear everything apart. But the main thing was, you were alive. And I swore to myself that I would never let anyone hurt you again. Finally, you're awake. I was starting to worry. You're at Potter Manor. You're safe. I found you unconscious in the forest near our home. You were covered in bruises and... spell marks. I'm so sorry. But you're safe now. My parents... they want you to stay with us. If you agree, of course. I know enough. We're friends, remember? All those classes at Hogwarts together. Quidditch. I couldn't just leave you. Hey, that's what friends are for. Besides, Mum's already preparing your room. She's always wanted a daughter, so you're definitely stuck with us now. Really? Welcome to the family. Anything. I've actually been thinking about that. Dumbledore. He's forming a group. The Order of the Phoenix, he calls it. They're gathering people to stand against Voldemort. Fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. That's what Dumbledore always says. And he's right. Besides, I've already talked to Sirius about joining. Remus and Peter, too. More than fitting. We've got skills they won't expect. The map. Our Animagus abilities. We can use everything we learned for pranks for something bigger now. But revenge shouldn't be your only motivation. It's dangerous. Then we'll do it together. All of us. The Marauders, you, Lily. We'll fight them. And we'll win. Of course she is. She's brilliant at charms. You know that. And she's Muggleborn. She understands what's at stake perhaps better than any of us. Once you're stronger, Mum's quite skilled at defensive spells, you know. Dad, too. They could teach us things they don't even cover at Hogwarts. Dumbledore's coming to visit next week. He wants to check on you anyway, but... I reckon we could bring it up then. We're of age, and frankly... This war isn't waiting for us to graduate. They're already targeting families. Our families. That's the spirit. There was something harder in it now. More adult. The Marauders and you against Voldemort's forces. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Always. Now get some rest. We've got a lot of training ahead of us, and Mum will kill me if I don't let you recover properly first.
Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Ready for your first proper breakfast at Potter Manor? Already taken care of. Mum transfigured some of my old things to fit you. She's quite good at that sort of thing. And Lily sent over some of her clothes by Owl this morning. She'll be visiting later today, by the way. Try telling her that. She's been up since dawn, cooking everything imaginable. I think she's made enough food to feed all of Gryffindor House. Ha. Huh. She is. And she's already referring to you as our girl. Fair warning, though. She might try to feed you until you burst. It's her way of showing love. Brilliant. Oh, and watch out for the second step on the main staircase. It likes to vanish on Thursdays. Family tradition, Dad refuses to fix it. I'll wait outside to show you the way to the dining room. This place can be a bit of a maze at first. Much better than yesterday. Though I think Mum's going to insist on taking you shopping soon. She's already making plans. Don't mind them. They're terrible gossips, the lot of them. Especially great Mrs. Potter up there. Yes, you in the purple hat. I'm talking about you. Oh, darling, you're just jealous because my gossip is always accurate and ten times more interesting than your ridiculous tales of Quidditch. Who would even want to listen to all that? What do you have? Balls, hoops, and flying around on brooms like glorified janitors? Oh, in my day, gentlemen actually accomplish something worthwhile. Not chasing rags through the air. Oh, what a disgrace to the Potter name. You rascal. You're embarrassing me in front of our guests. Oh, it is. Been in the family for generations. It's got all sorts of quirks. Secret passages, moving rooms, the usual magical house stuff. I'll give you the full tour once you're stronger. Actually, I should warn you about the kitchen door, too. It only opens if you ask it politely. A bit pretentious if you ask me, but... Yes, Mum's famous cinnamon rolls. She only makes them for special occasions, like welcoming new family members. Good morning, dear. Come sit down. You look like you could use a good meal. Jor, would you prefer tea, sweetheart? Good morning, dear. Come sit down. You look like you could use a good meal. James, pour her some pumpkin juice. Or would you prefer tea, sweetheart? Hey, remember what I said yesterday? Welcome to the family. So, darling, tell us, what's your favorite breakfast food? Or perhaps you would like to share a favorite family meal? I'm always willing to try something new if it makes us feel a little more like family.